So you may have seen the update, but if you haven't, here it is. It's titled Supercharge Your Campaign Performance with New Advantage Plus AI Features and Experimentally Proven Recommendations. So what you really need to know is that they are basically combining Advantage Shopping Campaigns and Manual Campaigns. So you no longer have the ability to choose between the two. They're kind of merged into one, and that's gonna affect the way that you set up your sales campaigns. They're also introducing something called Advantage Plus Leads Campaigns, and they're expanding this opportunity score thing, which we will touch on in this video. I've linked the article below this video so you can check it out later, but let's jump into the Ads Manager, and I'm gonna show you step-by-step what this looks like. Just so you know, Meta is still rolling out this update across accounts. As of today, March 13th, 2025, I'm only seeing this on a few ad accounts. I'm looking at it around 20 ad accounts. I'm only seeing it in like one or two. So if you don't have it yet, you're ahead of the game. You're gonna learn about how it works. So let's, uh, let's check this out. So we're gonna click create, and then we're gonna create a sales campaign. Normally when we click this, uh, it's gonna ask us, do we wanna create an advantage shopping campaign or a manual campaign? And if you notice, when I hit continue, it actually just takes me straight to a manual campaign. And the first thing that you'll notice here is this new section up here, campaign opportunities, advantage plus sales campaign. So this is the, this is the new name of advantage shopping campaign. It's called advantage plus sales campaign. So if we expand this, you can see that budget uh, you're using campaign budget advantage plus campaign budget uh, audience which is advantage plus audience and then placements advantage plus placements or automatic placements so you can see we have all these things turned on by default okay so that could be good or bad uh, depending on if your ad account uh, if it works in your ad account right but check this out so first thing you notice budget this is typically what we refer to as a CBO or campaign budget optimization. Uh, they then changed it to advantage campaign budget, and now they're calling it campaign budget with advantage plus on. Okay, a lot of terms. Basically, you know, I still call it a CBO. Uh, so this is a CBO. When this campaign budget is selected, this is a CBO. What does that mean? You're giving the budget at the campaign level and letting Meta decide how it spends amongst the various ad sets, okay? Now, if you choose ad set budget, you're gonna give uh, a budget for each ad set. You're gonna set the exact amount that each one of those ad sets are gonna spend. But you notice that this is actually grayed out. A lot of people online are being like, oh my God, we can't do ABO anymore, ad set budget optimization. That's not true. All you need to do is create another ad set to enable this. So if we just quickly duplicate this, notice that now at the ad, uh, at the campaign level, um, we can, hold on, where'd it go? <laughs> you see, they kind of hide it. <laughs> Even I got a little lost there for a second. So you have to expand this. If you see it's, it's a little hidden, you click this pencil icon, and now you can click add set budget. And now this is technically an ABO. And if you notice up here, Advantage Plus is off. Okay, so uh, meaning it's an ABO. You can set the budget at the ad set level. So you can see here, we go to the ad set level. And now you can see you can set the budget. Okay, so that's the first layer of the onion, right? We can do CBOs, we can do ABOs. Next, audience settings, okay? If you remember, in the old setup, there was a blue button that said switch to original audience options. Okay, now notice how Meta is using a little bit of psychology here, the way that they're naming this. They're saying further limit the reach of your ads. You know, you can argue that they're trying to discourage you from using this. You know, I'll, I'll let you guys make that decision. It's pretty obvious though. So let's click further limit the reach of our ads. Then we click switch setup right? Notice this is still using Advantage Plus audience, okay? Before, uh, we could switch to original audience options or have Advantage Plus audience. Now we have to choose further limit the reach of our ads, and then we still have to do some sort of limitation here. We need to 
kind of narrow our audience in order to enable original audience options, okay? So you can see up here, it still says Advantage Plus on. So what am I gonna do? I'm gonna narrow my demographics, maybe 21 to 64, for example, and notice what shows up. Use as a suggestion. We'll also reach people beyond your age setting when it's likely to improve performance. So this is a, an expansion checkbox um, that we're all familiar with. So what we need to do is uncheck this and notice now Advantage Plus is off. So now we're using original audience options. Okay, and you can even see it here that it's, it's basically telling you, hey, you're not using Advantage Plus audience anymore. You should switch to it basically. So now look at, uh, same thing with gender. If you just segment by gender, uh, let's, let me put this back real quick so you can see we're still using Advantage Plus audience. Now, I'm going to uncheck this use us as a suggestion and you can see again it turns off Advantage Plus audience. So basically that's the way that you um, turn on original audience options. Um, this also works with uh, custom audiences. Okay, so let's say purchase. Okay, note or actually let's let's do like uh, all website visitors here. Okay, website visitors. Let's say hypothetically we wanted to do a retargeting campaign. Well, just targeting our website visitors. So what we would do is put our custom audience in here and then use uh, uncheck the expansion checkbox, use this as a suggestion. And there you go again, it turns off Advantage Plus. Now, if you wanted to also um, limit purchasers or seeing your ads, you can also set an exclusion here. So you can put purchasers in, in here if you wanted to. Um, and that is how you would limit the amount, of re, uh, the amount of retargeting your ads doing to purchasers, to existing customers, okay? They've actually removed the um, customer budget cap that used to be inside of the Advantage Shopping Campaign. And now this is kind of the workaround that you have to use, which is, it's always been like this, but um, basically in, in manual campaigns, not in advantage shopping campaigns. Uh, so this is how you would do a retargeting campaign now using this new setup. You would switch to original audience options. You would add your custom audiences, and then you can set exclusions if you want and make sure you uncheck this use as a suggestion. So it doesn't expand past your warm audience, right? If it expands past, now we're talking about cold traffic, okay? So that is the audience section, right? And this should have updated to have an uncheck uh, without a check mark, but it's still there. Let's see, I wonder why. What if I do this? Huh. <laughs> This stays interesting, but you can see it's clear. It's clearly off here. So there's something, there's something off here, but it's a meta for you. Okay. So next let's look at placements. So this one's pretty straightforward. You can basically turn off uh, advantage plus placements or um, now it's called placements with advantage plus on simply by going to platforms. You can uncheck one of them. And now you see we're using manual placements. We're just putting it on Facebook and then you can choose the actual placements in here, okay? So this is generally how the new update works. Um, it's, I'm honestly, you're using recommend. Oh, okay, for at least one ad set. That's why it's showing this. So I, I haven't modified this one yet. So let me actually delete this one. If you delete this ad set, you won't be able to recover it later. You're currently using ad set budget as your budget strategy, which is only available for campaigns with two or more ad sets. Deleting this ad set will change your budget strategy to campaign budget, and you'll need to set a new budget at the campaign level. Okay, so if you de delete an ad set, it switches back to CBO. Good to know, all right? So let's do that. And now notice, <laughs> have you seen that meme where it's like you, there's like three toggles, you toggle, two off and then the other one turns on and it's like you can never toggle uh that that's what this is reminding me of right now kind of funny anyways vantage plus on so if you really wanted to do a 
an ABO, you could also, an ABO with just one ad set, you could set the budget of one of the ABO ad sets to a really small budget, like a dollar, and then the other one, um, you know, much higher budget. This is something that Constantinos uh, is experimenting with, so I'm sure he'll have some videos about that. Um, but anyways, this is generally how it works. Um, the other thing I wanted to show you guys is this opportunity score, okay? So, opportunity score. That This is kind of like if you've ever run Google Ads, you've seen how they have this opportunity score. They've basically copied Google where they're giving you real-time recommendations on what you should do to improve your ads, okay? For years now, I've been ignoring all the recommendations inside the ads manager because I've been bitten in the past. I've, I've tried them. And most of the time they've actually ruined my performance. So I'm very skeptical of this feature. I'm not listening to it at all. Uh, and if you, if you look at, you know, at, you see how it says based on our experiment, if you actually read these things, you can see what these experiments are. Okay, this is an experiment, this specific one, try Vantage plus shopping campaign. This result is based on an experiment run between July 22nd, 2022 and September 9th, 2022. The experiment found that Advantage Plus shopping campaigns when added to current business as usual campaigns lead to an average of 17% lower cost per result. This is provided to give you an idea of possible performance, but performance isn't guaranteed. Little disclaimer at the end, right? So obviously we know that Advantage shopping campaigns are actually really good, they work. Uh, they don't work uh, for every ad account, but when it works, it works really, really well. So if you haven't tested out advantage shopping campaigns, I would recommend that you try that, but you can see that they have a bunch of other recommendations in here. You can gain nine points. They're kind of gamifying it. And really they are moving towards a black box situation here. They want to take away all the control from us and they just want us to turn over the creatives and then their AI do the rest, which as an advertiser who, you know, I, I truly spend a lot of time crafting my creatives, crafting my copy, you know, crafting my strategy. Like I don't want their AI turning my ads into this mumbo jumbo of just AI nonsense. Okay. You know, and that's putting it really nicely. Uh, you can see they have other recommendations here. Automatically optimize, again, optimize five eligible ads with visual touch-ups, text improvements, ad overlays, blah, blah, blah. If I've spent time and money crafting a really high uh, quality static image, for example, why am I gonna put an ad overlay on top of it? If I have, if I have a, a, a headline that I've thought deeply about and now suddenly I have an ad overlay on top of it, like what's the point of that? It's honestly gonna, uh, detract from my ads capability of selling. So I don't, I don't love this recommendation. And let's see, potential outcome. Here's another, uh, you know, uh, recommendation or explaining why they think this works. The analysis results are based on one month of scaled experiment data of 54,834 ad sets during 2021, right? where eligible ad sets had a conversion type of link clicks, landing page views, or offsite conversions, had media, liqui media liquidity enabled, and also had revenue balance between control and test. Why? Why would I turn this on if I'm using sales campaigns? This is based on traffic campaigns, which we know is generally a waste of money. So what's the point of that? I feel like I'm kind of going on a rant now, but <laughs> these, these enhancements drive me kind of crazy. Let's look at another one. Use additional text options for two ads. Okay, let's see. So here we go. This, per this percentage is based on the machi machine learning model of data from real advertisers who took this recommendation. These advertisers have the same optimization for ad delivery. The model, consists, uh, the model considers performance over 17 days. Again, with the disclaimer at the bottom. This one, okay, it's it's actually using, it's not an experiment from 2021, it's actually using like real machine learning data. That, so this one I can see maybe it could potentially work. Do I really wanna use their chat GPT robotic copywriting or do I want to use 
you know, my copywriting that I've, I've done thorough market research and I've really spent time crafting my headlines. So I encourage you to go to your account overview, take a look at these features, but make sure that you're looking at this little eye icon and reading these before you elect to use them. Because you'll notice that a lot of the, they're not equal. Some of them are experiments from 2021. Some of them are based on traffic campaigns. Others are based on real live data. So just be smart and use these sparingly. I honestly turn most of them off. Anyways, I generally do not take recommendations from the Meta Pros or the Ads Manager. Use common sense, use your intuition. If something feels off about like what it's recommending to you or what a Meta Pro is telling you to do, follow your gut, guys. A lot of these Meta Pros have never run an ad in their life, okay? They've been trained uh, and that's it, okay? so. I'll leave it at that. I'm gonna end my rant now. Uh, yeah, that's it. <laughs> All right, one last thing I wanna show you guys. In that update, they also mentioned that they're rolling out Advantage Plus leads. So uh, check this out. So if we hit create and then we click on leads, notice it shows uh, you no longer need to choose a campaign setup. You're starting with Advantage Plus leads campaign. Manual options are still available. Click OK. Now it's the same as what I showed you before, but there's definitely some uh, implications or some things you need to consider if you are, say, a local business. Um, I definitely recommend that you switch to original audience options. Why? Well, if you use Advantage Plus Audience, if you set, say, a radius around your business and you have this Advantage Plus uh, audience on, it's gonna treat your radius and any other um, demographics that you choose as a suggestion and it's gonna expand out past what you suggest. So you could be getting, you know, if, let's say you're based in Atlanta, you might be getting uh, leads from Florida or Colorado. That's a problem, right? You want people that are in your local area. So if that is happening to you, then make sure that you are actually switching your uh, audience settings to original audience options the way I showed earlier in this video. Okay, it's very important. I, this to me is a problem. Um, I don't know how Meta is going to address this for local business lead generation, but they definitely need to do something about this because if you have this expansion setting on, it's going to get you nonsense leads, okay? Leads that are not going to lead to sales for your business because they're not in the area that you are. So um, just, just another thing to keep in mind for all you lead gen folks. Um, yeah. All right, you guys, that's it for today's video. You're now up to date with Meta's latest update as of March 13th, 2025. If you wanna keep learning, I really recommend you check out some of my other videos. I'm sharing tips and tricks along with real live case studies so that you can apply them to your business and grow in 2025. I'll see you guys on the next one. Take care.